Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm going to be playing a game called Inunaki Tunnel. Now this is a game developed, as you can see on the bottom left here, by Chilla's Art, who is the developer behind the game The Convenience Store. I just recently played through that game, got two endings, I think there are three. I thought there were two, but there are three, as far as I know. I don't have the patience to go through the whole 50 minute game again to try and get the third ending because I'm going to assume that it's probably not worth playing another 50 minutes but i saw this game and i read the description of it and it it sold me immediately this game was three dollars on itch.io but apparently it's based kind of on a true story i don't know about events if i remember correctly there is a tunnel in japan that has been closed off to the public because they say a lot of weird creepy spooky horrible things have happened down there and i believe this is a game about exploring that tunnel and the idea of that already creeps me out the execution of games by Chilla's art seems to be really flawless, especially in terms of just sheer creep factor, and that's exactly what I'm going into this game expecting. Now, a couple things. First and foremost, I made a mistake. I thought I recharged all the batteries for my camera. Apparently I didn't, so I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of battery switching as the other ones charge, just because the battery I have in now is only gonna last 10 minutes and I've already been recording for three. <laughs> so there may be points where I don't notice if the camera shuts off and you know, I'm gonna be looking at the camera a lot just to make sure that it's still recording and that it's still on. So I hope you guys will excuse me for, you know, kind of bouncing in and out my face cam at least. Doesn't really make a difference if my stupid face is here or not. And the other thing is this game is quite a bit longer. So just buckle up for a while somewhat lengthy ride but anyway i'm i'm ready let's do this i got my oversized cloak that's pretty much a blanket with a hood and i'm not wearing this because i'm frightened i'm wearing it because it's warm and cozy that's exactly why not because it gives me the sensation of being held by somebody while i'm experiencing an extremely creepy game whatever let's start tonight is the night i have to do this it's the only way I'd ever get famous. Okay. Well, aesthetically, oh, oh, it's like a recording thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, aesthetically, it's giving me the same vibes as uh, the convenience store. And I gotta say, I really like the somewhat photorealistic look to it all. What do you say? Exit? What happens if I exit? Chicken now. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a good day. Hit that subscribe and that like button, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Man, I'm just kidding. Let's retry this. <laughs> That's funny. Tonight is the night I have to do this. Only way I'd ever get famous. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm not going to chicken out this time. Or am I? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm kidding. All right. Well, let's go over here into the tunnel that's clearly blocked off. Oh, giant puddle. Clearly blocked off. Oh, what? What? Camcorder may activate its face detection on anything with a strong spiritual energy. Oh, no. I don't know about that. Okay. It's too tough for me to climb over. Oh, my God. That's a very, very cool mechanic that's going to be extremely creepy. Don't know if I'm into that. Don't know if I want to deal with that. But I'm going to have to. Is there any way in here? Can I oh, God. Why am I holding it? Why am I holding it? Oh. Too tough for me to climb over. So what do I do? There's gotta be another, aha, a ladder. Who would leave a ladder? Cue to drop item. Pick up this ladder and let me just pop that over here. Run and grab the doll again. Ooh, at least there's fast movement. There we go. I have a feeling I'm gonna need this. So let's grab that. I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but I'm going to need it. Climb over? Yes. Let's do this. I'm ready. Okay. I heard my footsteps and I thought it was like a dog. 
Sparky. Not too sure if I like this. Not too sure if I'm into this at all. It's a lot of random noises. Oh, that's a drop. That's all it is. It's a water drop. That's all. Nothing to be worried or afraid or scared or freaked out about. I thought that was a like a vase, vase, flower pot or something. Well, this place is incredibly detailed. Whoa. Oh, is this all moss? Just mossed over? Alright, I'm going straight. Not sure why. Is that a flower? Oh, it's origami. A black dragon appeared in this village 2,000 years ago from the sky. The black dragon attacked the village with its flames. People prayed to the relentless dragon every day and hoped that it'll calm down. Then, the dragon was having a ritual at the body of a man who had just died recently trying to possess his body. The villagers gathered together and captured the dragon and sealed it under a sacred stone, and a dog was placed to protect the stone. That's what I heard from the elderly man. The old man said that it was a story passed down by many generations. Only a few believe it to this day, but he explained the blood of the guard dog still runs in some of the dogs that wander in this village. Finish reading? Yes. Well, I kind of want to pick that up for safekeeping. No? Alright. Well. Time to go, then. I keep seeing the face down here of this doll. And it just completely creeps me the F out, dude. Every once in a while, I see it and it's spooking me out. Making me spooked. All right, down the rest of this dark tunnel. Not sure what I'm gonna encounter, but it's very quiet and very scary. Who? Oh, here we go. You know, I should probably move a little bit quicker. Well, this is pretty elaborate. It's going all over the place. I mean, there's one solid path to follow, but... I expect there to be deviations every once in a while. See, I like this. I like when it's, like, nice and bright and green like this. Alright, I'm gonna go down here first. Actually, I don't know where to go. I kind of want to go back. I kind of want to go back and see what that place was all about. It looked very intriguing. Okay. Okay. All right. And that was the first battery death of the night. So this is going to happen a few more times. I hope you guys are okay with that. Anyway, let's continue. I see... Uh Concrete slab of some kind, maybe? Is that a boat? Oh, I thought it was a boat, but it's a car. All right, well, nothing there. I thought maybe this would lead me to some kind of shrine or something. Oh, see, now I don't know which way I should have gone. I think there are multiple endings to this. So, depending on how I feel by the end of this run, I might try another... Ending? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Place opens up. Okay, there are way too many branching paths here. Now I'm starting to question whether or not I should have come down here or went the other way. Okay. Man, what the hell? What the hell is this place? I could use this to clear up the path. I need the key. What makes you think that that thing is gonna work? What gives you that impression? And I would assume the key would be like directly next to it or... Could have sworn I heard something. All right, well, let's go up the dark, scary forest path. Oh, boy. I heard a lot of noises coming from this direction before. A 
Okay, that is something walking that is not me. There was something walking that I'm not aware about other than the noise that it made. Why is there a light shining here? Oh! Oh boy! Oh god! What? Where? Zoom in. What are you trying to tell me, man? What are you trying to tell me, pointing the camera in those directions, or, you know, the thing and stuff? I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, man. Um, well, I'm really wondering what happened to you. I'm assuming you might have a key? I'm very sorry you had to go through what you had to go through. But I kind of want to progress a little bit. here. What's this? It's like something used to be here. Maybe I can fix it? Huh. Pull the ring? What? Did that like unlock the door or something? Is that what's happening here? Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, how nice. What do you say? The dog at Shiraishi's house seems to be attracted to the sacred stone. The dog will chase anyone who approaches the stone, and one even came back with his calf muscle completely pulled apart. Even when Shiraishi tried to put, on, put it on a chained leash, it always manages to break it. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Statue. Huh. Wonder what just happened. Oh, his body fell. And he has the key. Cue to drop item. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me try dropping that on here. Thank you. Alright, I dropped it in front of there. Well, I'm assuming that wasn't the right thing to do. But I need this key, so I'm picking that key up. And I'm going back to the thing and stuff. I sure hope that earthquake didn't completely ruin what I'm trying to do here. Did it? No. We're good. Start the engine? Yes. Okay, I cleared the way. So, before I go there, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to grab this doll again. And I think I might want to go down the other pathway. Unless, maybe I should just press forward. After getting the doll, of course. Yeah, maybe I'll just press forward. And then, after I beat this all... Because that other area isn't too far from the beginning of the game. I will go that way the next time I play. Alright, time to go back down this creepy dark tunnel. Okay, I guess that doesn't mean anything anymore. Oh god. I can barely see. Why would I decide to do this to become famous? There's so many other ways that I could become famous that don't involve me filming myself roaming through a haunted tunnel. A lot of strange things, and a dead body that I saw. An actual dead body. That my character doesn't seem to really be phased by. I guess. Ho! Oh, oh! Ho! That leads me to believe there's somebody in there. Now, I know you're all wondering what would lead me to that assumption. The car drove! On its own. What do you say? Matsuda isn't thinking well about 
the dog at Shiraishi's. Shiraishi is thinking about expanding the land, but the sacred stone seems to be in the way. Matsuda knew that the dog will get in the way of anyone that will try to remove the stone. He tried talking to Shiraishi persistently, but he loved his dog so much that he refused to listen to Matsuda. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to move that stone either. Because I literally just read a letter over there and an earthquake happened, so there's definitely some, uh... Some weirdness going on over there. Oh, would you look at that? It's well lit over here. How nice. I don't know if that should concern me or not, but it doesn't. The light is good. I like the light. So what's all the way down here? Oh, it looks like a gate. A locked gate. Yeah. Is that a payphone? Are there people in there? I'm hoping that's just painted on the outside. What is this? Tanaka 1959. Are these graves? Takahashi 1978. These are graves. Recently, Shiraishi's dogs started barking more aggressively and persistently. Matsuda had decided to move the stone on his own. When Matsuda tried to finally remove the stone, the dog barked and would not stop. Matsuda was unable to hold his anger and stabbed the dog. Hearing the dog cry was unbearable. When Shirei, she found that his dog was gone, he was filled with rage. Matsuda moved the stone regardless. Matsuda? Why would you ever do that? Why? Watanabe, 1961. Why would you ever do that? I don't approve. I don't approve. What does this say? Uh-oh. First person here drowned by the hour. The last person was burned alive by the minute. Oh, that... Drowned by the hour. Oh. Burned alive by the minute. So, two. 40... 241. Two? 41. Right? Is that what it said? Two and forty-one. It's like two forty-one or two forty-two, something like that. Two eighty-seven. Nineteen forty-two. Maybe that's that's it. Forty-two. At a clock. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me reread this. The first person here drowned by the hour. The last person he. It was burned alive by the minute. The first person here. So whoever has the oldest date, which I think is 42. 1942. Yeah, I think 1942. No, 1940. 1940 and 1990. I don't fully understand this puzzle. All right, it happened again. But that should be the last time. I believe that should be the last time because it said 43 minutes left on this battery, so I should be uh, should be able to finish this game by then. All right, so oh, 1991. Okay, that's that's different. I thought it was 1990 that was the latest. Okay, so 1991 was the last person here. Let me just double check all of these. 40. 1940 is definitely the oldest. Okay, so. What was it again? First person here drowned by the hour. The last person was burned alive by the minute. So maybe, maybe it's four, oh one. Oh. I guess that was close enough. Okay, well, I did it. Now what? Did that open anything up? Oh god. For some reason that scared me. Let me check the gate. Hear some noise coming from over there. Oh. Gate is very slow to open. But alright. What's going on over here? Oh. Look at this. This is very in-depth. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, 
Let me double check what's going on over here. Okay, so there definitely, there was definitely somebody here before. I'm not insane, I don't think. Can I get it, get in there? Oh. Help me. Uh. Can I? Can I no? Can I no longer get out? Please let me out. Oh! Oh God! Okay. Oh. G oh. What? What? Where? Oh! Oh! Okay. Alright. Well. Here we go. Man, it seems like there's so many options of ways to go. Because I could have just walked straight into the woods there. It's really making me question, like... Whether or not I'm going the right way. There's a river here. Oh, maybe I can't cross this and that's... Yeah, okay. Alright. I just wanted to confirm. Because I have a feeling I, uh... Definitely... Could have gone this way, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, 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 the bloody handprint. Who cares? All right, well, time to continue up this dark pathway. Oh, Van, are you gonna drive on your own? Oh, there's something in the van. The door is stuck. It's like an ax. A bloody ax. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe not go over there. Do not go down by the river either. With a bloody ax over there. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of different possible pathways here. Blocked off by a fence. Alright, well, I'm going to assume then that I just need to stick to the beaten path. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I'm just going to stick to the... Oh. Oh. Cue to drop item. Well, looks like I'm going to have to come back here then. This thing could serve as a weapon too, which is nice. Although something leads me to believe I'm not going to be able to use it as a weapon. I just got to make sure to go back and get the doll. Well, you know what they say, if the van is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. I'm starting to really question what's going on in here. Use the tongs? Yes. Oh. Well, I've got an axe. I wonder what I'll need this for. I probably gotta cut down a tree so I can cross that river. Yeah, this has changed from a tunnel to actual outside. Here we go. Chop down. Alright, well, I'm gonna drop this, and if I need it, I'll come back for it. But the doll is taking precedence over the axe. Because whatever comes after me, I'll just show them the face of this doll and they'll be so scared that they run away. Alright. Seem to be making a lot of progress here. Oh, doggy. Don't worry. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to touch your stone. I'm here to help. Oh, something seems lit up there. Is this another one? Looks like something used to be here. Maybe I can fix it. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Not sure how I feel about this. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to go there. I should definitely just stay on the beaten path. Because if I keep trying to explore, then I'll probably get lost. Probably not a good idea. Alright, well. This is interesting. 
seems to be a fire lit in there. It's missing its rope, crank, and bucket. Okay, well, I clearly have to find those things then. Got over this bridge. Bucket. We'll leave the we'll leave the thing on the on the thing and stuff. I need the rope and the crank. this. Candles. Definitely gonna have to light those at some point. Um, I'm gonna assume that there's definitely some supplies in this place. This extremely run-down home, shack, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully both the crank and the rope will be here. It's a great Buddhist bell. It seems to be missing the log used to ring it. So now I gotta find a log too? Oh, okay. Oh, here's another thing. I don't know what happened, but now before me, all I see is a desolated vi village with black clouds above us. Many known faces have fallen. I'm alive with blood coming out of my feet. I must write, record this before it's too late. It's getting darker and darker. My vision is hazy, but it isn't, but isn't that where Matsuda killed the dog? I see a silhouette in the darkness. Is that human? No. That is, the rest is covered in blood. Well, let me get away from that bloody letter. Let me try to find the rope and crank. Here's the rope. Where's the crank? A shovel. Have you ever heard of a woman named Mits Mitsuko? I heard her voice. I know you won't believe me, but just do as I say. Listen, she must be the one who keeps knocking down the Jizo statues. She hates them to death. I buried one next to the shortest stone lamp so she won't find it. I will tell you where I hid the second one later. Make sure to dig them up when you find the rest. Okay, I'm going to have to come back here for that. And I'm just going to quickly run around this side to make sure I'm not missing the crank. I'm really liking this so far. A lot of puzzle elements. Very light puzzle elements, though. Nothing too ridiculous. Right, the crank I'm definitely going to have to come back for. Here's the rope. And I just need the crank. Whatever that could be. I also need to find a log. Just a little bit worried. I don't want to wander too far. Because it seems pretty easy to get lost in this place. Is this where it came from? Yes, it is. See, it's so wide open. There's so many places that it looks like I can go. Yeah, maybe not. Every time I see that river, I think to myself that I should probably just get back. Yeah, let's just get back. I am really wondering where that log is, though. Unless, do I need to grab the axe and cut down a tree? I don't think so. I don't think that would be the answer. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, find thing and stuff that they want me to find. Let's grab this, and let me just read that again. Oh, never mind. Well, it mentioned that it was buried next to the shortest lamp or something like that. I think this is it. Right? Maybe not. Oh, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. Right? No. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, here we go. Alright. 
So, where did I have to set that up again? Oh, maybe on this. Yes! Oh, so I still need to find the log and the crank. Here we go. There's the log. Alright, so... I'm gonna bring the log over here. Probably gonna want me to hit the bell. Just like you should do down below, and also subscribe, ring the bell, so you're notified of whatever. <laughs> oh, and there's the crank. How oh, nice. All right. Well, that went smoothly. Go ahead and bring the crank over to here, and pop that in, and use the well. wonder what this is going to get me. A lighter. Oh, okay. And a nice howling wind to keep me company. Thank you. Thanks. Let's light that, light that, and light that. Um, let's go get the doll. Let's go get it. I'll m make sure to remember that the lighter is there. Oof. Here I go. Don't know what to expect, but I get the feeling everything is coming to a head now. Oh, that is totally blocked off, isn't it? Nope! Ha ha! Wait. Before I do that, what's over here? Don't tell me this is where I came from. Is this where I came from? No. Oh. Back into the tunnel? So I'm really wondering then what that other way was all about. Maybe that's the secret ending? I hope I'm not just retracing my steps. No, oh, I don't think so. Yeah, this seems to be different. Oh, a road. Call the police? Why would I call the police? They should come any minute now. Right. Oh, it there's an invisible wall there. It will not. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh. That was very creepy. That was very creepy. And Miyawaka Fukuoka, Keiji Fujio, Fu goes by the name of Horror of KG66 on a popular video streaming website. Shine Shine Duga was reported missing on the night of October or something. The police was initially called by Fujio using the emergency roadside telephone near the entrance of Inunaki Pass. But on arrival, there was no one there but a broken camcorder left on the ground. They were unable to recover the files on the camera and assumed he was in the middle of recording his video on the said website and looks to further investigate the area. The local, the local government plans to block the tunnels completely and add security cameras to ward off future trespassers. 
Well then. Oh. Oh. Recording failed. All right, so that was one ending. You know what? I'm I'm going to give this another shot. Now that I know exactly what I need to do, I'm just going to continue. Tonight is the night, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna power through this, and also what I wanna do is... First of all, grab the doll. Climb this. I wanna go down that that um, other part of the tunnel that I was kinda going down, but didn't know if I wanted, wanted to go down, and didn't end up going down. How many times can I say the phrase going down? So we get our first deviation here, and... I gotta remember that there's the part where to the left there's an entrance and also straight ahead there's an entrance. Well, not entrance, but continuation of the tunnel. I gotta say, I think I like this better than the convenience store. This game just has like an overall looming sense of being watched the entire time. While that was slightly the case in the convenience store, it's definitely really tacked on in this game and just the overall creep factor in this game in my opinion is way higher than uh the convenience store so this is the way that I i'm currently going the way that i wanted to go the other time it seems to be leading me into a giant circle though because it looped around oh okay it's starting to deviate a little bit okay it just led me back to here so, I'm not gonna waste my time going back. Well, I lied, you guys. Battery died again. That's good. Alright, um... Oops, sorry. Mike was a little far from me. I thought for sure that it said that I had, like, 45 minutes left on the other... The other, uh, battery, but I guess not. I don't know what happened, but whatever. So, at least now I know that sticking to the path is key. You know what, why don't I leave this down here? Yeah, one thing about this game that really impresses me is the scale of it. I mean, it seems like a really big environment, a big area. Oh, hey, guy. Sorry, I'm sorry about what happened to you, but what are you gonna do? All right, boom. Now, I wonder if I need to, I wonder if I need to place statues on all those things. Because there was a statue in here, but I don't think I was able to, oh able to get it. Ah, I was wrong. Okay. So, I'm gonna try and make it a point to put these statues where they belong. Let's go grab this key. I think there were like two or three more of those things. I'm gonna try to plow through this in less time. Here comes the haunted truck. Vroom, vroom. Goodbye. I don't really need to, I don't think I need to read these over again, but I'm just gonna do it just because. No, I don't think there was another one of those statues lying around here. Just gonna make sure these are all, I think they're all the same. I don't think that's gonna change. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think a statue is necessary here. So let's just try and enter the same, the same, uh, Time. And it worked! Alright. Well. Time to go over here. Time for some spookiness to happen. Alright, well we got the handprint thing going on over here. Let's just continue. And here's the van. I'm gonna need to get those tongs. I'm blowing through this this time. All right, we got the axe, so I'm gonna go chop down that tree, cross the tree bridge, and then we're gonna make it to that shrine, temple, whatever it was. All right, so we're making our way over there. Um, now, the only thing I'm confused about is the whole statue situation. So I gotta make sure to read and memorize that note that was left by the shovel a lot better than I did before, because I think it did mention that there were other statues lying around. And before I... Uh, maybe I'll take a look around here first. Seems like a lot of... extra pass... paths. Passageways. Uh... 
Oh. Is that where I came from? My god, I'm stupid. It just led me right back to where it came from. So I gotta remember... ...about that statue. I think those are the only three that I have to worry about. Let's go ahead and pop this on the bridge again. I'm gonna grab the rope... ...and read this note again, because it mentioned something about other statues. Have you ever heard of a woman, blah, blah, blah? She hates them to death. I buried one next to the shortest stone lamp so she won't find it. I will tell, tell you where I hid the second one later. Make sure to dig them up when you find the rest. I don't know what you mean when I find the rest, because when I find one... It doesn't let me... It doesn't let me do anything with it. Here it is. Right by the, uh, candles. So we'll pop that log in here, get the crank. And once we get the crank, we can get the lighter. Boom. Here we go. Drag this down to the well. Very nice. We got the lighter now. Oh. Forgot about the howling wind. All right, let's go light these, and then I'll drop the lighter so I can grab the shovel, and we'll dig up that statue. This will be the last time, I promise. I'm almost done with the game anyway, so. Um, doodle here, here's the statue. Let's go ahead and put you. There's one here, there's one more, though, out there. Or, uh, one more spot for one. So, let me go grab this doll, and then what I'm going to do, instead of walking through that tunnel, is I'm going to go the other way that was kind of blocked off. And I'm really hoping that gives me another ending, I think it should. So yeah, I'm going to go here. Maybe this will lead me to the final statue. Entering new territory here, guys. Yeah, this is very different territory. It almost looks like this path has been driven on, though. Oh, really? There's gotta be a way in here. There's gotta be. Why would you give me such a path if nothing were at the end of it? There's gotta be a way in here. There's gotta be. I'm convinced of it. Alright, well, there's the tunnel. I'm avoiding that. I'm avoiding that entirely. I must have missed something. You know what? I'm gonna retrace my steps. Because I'm totally 100% missing something. Alright, so this is the river. This is where I had the axe. I really can't help but feel like I'm missing something somewhere. And I definitely want to recover all the statues. No, it's trapped. Help the dog. Yes, of course. Who in their right mind wouldn't? Are you okay? Yeah. He's out. Oh. Where are you going, pal? Man, you sure are a panty boy, aren't you? Breathing very heavily. What? What? What happened? What was that all about? Is there somebody there? <laughs> kind of freaking me out a little bit here, boy.
Where did you even come from? There's a statue. On my way home, I heard a man shout, so I looked where it came from. I see five young men pummeling an old man to the ground whom I have seen in Inunaki village with a cane. I heard the guys talk about their frustrations in the village. The old man shouted, if you're going to hate, hate yourself for being one of the residents of Inunaki. If I went and tried to help, I thought I'd be beaten too. I ran away. I couldn't bear to watch. A little later, smoke started to rise at the place of the violence. A neighbor said some outsiders came and ignited a house with gasoline. I was worried about the old man and tried to go to the place, but I was too late. It was on fire and I couldn't get close. I was later informed that the guy found in the house was indeed the old man I saw earlier. It's my fault. I couldn't do anything to stop it. No, it's their fault. The villagers got hurt because of their selfishness. I don't trust the outsiders. I will never forgive them. My god. That's gruesome. Where did the dog go? Doggo. Where did you go? Alright, well, I have the final statue, and I'm assuming... What? Oh! No, there's one more! So where does that go? I'm definitely going to need that axe for that one. Huh. Here we go. Where does this one go? Is there another spot to put it that I didn't realize? That's occupied. Alright, there's the tree that I knocked over. Alright, this is fenced off. Here we go. Boom. Alright. So I think that's it. Right? I think that's it. Okay. So maybe now we go through the tunnel at the end? I'm really starting to think that there's more to this game than I thought. Well, in any case, let's go back up here. Alright, well, I can't seem to find anything else having to do with this area. So I think I'm just going to go into the tunnel and hope to God that I get a different ending. Alright, so I'm reaching the end here. And I'm going to call the police again. This time around I think I'm just going to stand. Stand over here. Hope that I don't get attacked. Okay, so I got the bad ending again, and I don't have it in me to play this whole thing all over again. My god, I thought I did it right. I thought I did it right. So I'm reading a walkthrough here. I'm just gonna read off how to get it because like I said, I don't have it in me. I've already been playing this for almost two hours, and I literally just played through the whole thing again for absolutely no reason. I thought I was gonna get a different ending. It says the bad ending is completing the game without reading the note next to the dead dog. Now I didn't even know that was a thing in the game. The good ending is completing the game by placing all the Jesus without reading the note next to the dead dog. I thought I placed all of them. I guess I didn't. There must have been one that I missed somewhere, but you know what, whatever. And then it also says, says there's a secret ending which is to complete the game reading the note next to the dead dog. Again, not sure where that is. And as much as I would love to uncover all the endings, uh, two hours is long enough for me to play this game. So yeah, if you guys want to try it out for yourselves, maybe get the other endings, I'll leave the link for this down below in the description for you. But for now, that's all the time I have left for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you did, and please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about the video down below as well. And if you did happen to enjoy and you want to catch a new video every single day, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.